All right. You may have heard from other sources that there have been some issues with Trump lately. And, apparently, during some of these issues with Trump, a grand jury foreperson did something not so smart, seemingly. Let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe while you're at it, because that really helps me out. Now let's get into this. All right, here we go. Oddball Trump grand jury foreperson, Emily Kors, I hope I said that right, dealt a terrible blow, quote unquote, to prosecution, Andrew McCarthy says. This comes from Fox News, by the way, just so you know. It says right here, Fox News. She basically flouted the secrecy rules of the grand jury. Not sure what flouted means? Let me know in the comments. McCarthy told Fox News Digital. Now, let's take a look at this video. Well, thank you for having me, first of all. Did you personally want to hear from the former I president? I wanted to hear from the former president, but honestly, I kind of wanted to subpoena the former president because I got to swear everybody in. Mm. And so I thought it'd be really cool to get 60 seconds with President Trump of me looking at him and being like, do you solemnly swear? Really? That's why you wanted to? That is a weird reason to want to subpoena someone. But that's just me. And me getting to swear him in, I just, I kind of just thought that it. would be an awesome moment. I can't. Well, I, I might be able to, according to instructions, but I don't want to. Why do you want to speak out publicly? Because this was a really cool experience. And Senator Lindsey Graham, what was his demeanor like? when he Fantastic. Came he seemed like, I really liked him. I really liked talking to him. Why was that person offered immunity? Then? Uh... Yeah, you might want to tread carefully there. Pretty sure they're not allowed to reveal things like that, but that's just me. I'm sorry, I'm making sure that I don't break any of my rules. How so many helpful. people was this a long list? It's not a short list. So we're talking. Sounds like a bit of bragging there. Let me know your opinion. We're talking about more than a dozen people? I would say that. Yes, it's not a short list. Yep. Again, talking about it, feels like a bit of bragging there. That they have this big list. I don't understand why you'd be bragging about it, but okay. Let me know if you think she's bragging in the comments. Not a short list. <laughs> More. Did the grand jury recommend an indictment of former President Trump? I'm not going to speak on exact indictments. Would you characterize it as 20-ish people? I can't. Look at him trying to play it up like that. I don't understand why you'd try and play it up. Go with a big number like 20-ish. Could be 6-ish for all you know. We won't know until later, I would imagine. But... If you look closely, that does say CNN. So is it a surprise they're planning it up? Not to me personally. I say I counted. <laughs> okay. More than a dozen, though, I think I'd heard you say in another interview. I believe so. I don't think that there are any, like, giant... That's not the way I expected this to go at all. And I'll say that uh, when this list comes out, you wouldn't... There are no major plot twists waiting for you. That just raises more questions of COVID. I know, of I know, I'm sorry. Her behavior raises questions. But that is just me. Uh, probably not. After everything that you've seen, what would your reaction be if the DA decides against bringing any charges after what you've seen? I will be sad if nothing happens. This was too much, too much information, too much of my time, too much of everyone's time. There was just too much for this to just be, oh, okay, we're good, bye. 
And that includes of the former president, potentially. Potentially, it might. Let me know your opinion of this. Personally, I'm not sure what to think of her or of what she was saying. Let me know down in the comments what you think. All right, back to the article. Attorney Andrew McCarthy said Emily Coors, the forewoman of a special grand jury as part of the Georgia criminal probe into former President Trump, may have dealt a terrible blow to prosecutors with her unusual, that is an understatement, media tour this week. In a pair of appearances on CNN and NBC News, Coors appeared to strongly hint that Trump was among those recommended for criminal charges while laughing, joking, and making animated facial expressions that seemed to provide answers she knew she shouldn't be offering. In other words, you were busted. McCarthy, a senior fellow at the National Review Institute, believes any fair-minded lawyer would object to her behavior. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone would object to that behavior. That is not appropriate, especially of a jury foreperson. I'm sorry. This is a terrible thing. She basically flouted the secrecy rules of the grand jury. She flouted the judge's order, and she makes the whole enterprise down there in Georgia look like it's a, you know. Trump called it a kangaroo court, McCarthy said. What exactly is a kangaroo court? Can anyone tell me? Let me know. Whether it really is a kangaroo court or not, in that colorful sense, We'll have to see as the proceedings go by. But it's absolutely true that it's a terrible blow for their legal system and for this particular investigation, which has already had problems because, you know, the Fulton County District Attorney, Fannie Willis, is an elected Democrat who had a lot to say publicly about Trump even before this investigation opened, he continued. This doesn't help them present the impression that they're running a tight, ethical, professional investigation. Yep, no kidding. It actually, in my opinion, harms it. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Robert McBurney previously ordered that any recommendations on who should or should not be prosecuted would remain secret for now to protect their due process rights. Sounds like you've been busted. The social grand jury, or the special social, bleh, did not have the power to issue indictments. And it will ultimately be up to Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis to decide whether to seek indictments from a regular grand jury. Coors has irked liberal CNN and MSNBC pundits this week with comments made to their own colleagues that may have inadvertently helped Trump's legal team. Heh, <laughs> LOL. But CNN and NBC News provided cores with the platform, and she drew attention to both networks during a pair of viral on-camera interviews. Viral. No kidding. Well, legal experts think Coors Media Blitz may ultimately benefit the former president. McCarthy feels liberal pundits from CNN and MSNBC can't be mad at their own networks for putting Coors in front of the camera. He said, the news side of media organizations must make decisions that will sometimes annoy their colleagues. I think no matter what your political predisposition is a jury for a woman who comes out to talk publicly and a high-profile case is a newsworthy event that they would believe they had to cover, McCarthy told Fox News Digital. So, I don't fault the news side for regarding it as a news story and covering it, he continued. You can quibble with whether or not they skewed the news as they reported it. That's a different issue, yep. But whether it's a news story I think it is a news story. 
shortly after her interview with CNN's Kate Boldon, may have butchered that, on Tuesday, her colleagues Anderson Cooper and Ellie Honig, may have butchered that as well, reacted in astonishment. First of all, why this person is talking on TV, I do not understand, Cooper said. She's clearly enjoying herself, but, I mean, is this responsible? She was the foreperson of this grand jury. This is a horrible idea, said Honig, a CNN legal analyst. And I agree that, I agree, I guarantee you, sorry, that prosecutors are wincing watching her go on this. It's a prosecutor's nightmare. On MSNBC Morning Joe, host Joe Scarborough was heard saying, oh God, as co-host Mika Brzezinski, may have butchered that too, offered a recap of the interviews Coors gave, which also included the Associated Press, New York Times, and Atlanta Journal-Constitution. MSNBC columnist and former prosecutor Barbara McQuaid wrote Thursday that she was mortified about Coors reckless media tour. MSNBC shared the column on Twitter, tweeting, Loose lips sink ships and can surely do the same for investigations. Emily Coors media tour is reckless. I would have to agree with that. It is kind of reckless to do stuff like that. The special grand jury spent about seven months hearing testimony from witnesses, including high-profile Trump allies, as attorney, such as attorney Rudy Giuliani and Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, and a top Georgia officials like Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and Governor Brian Kemp. While Coors has been criticized for joking and giggling during her CNN and NBC News interviews, McCarthy thinks a more serious four-person would have still inadvertently helped Trump's legal team with such a media blitz. I was a prosecutor for 20 years. What you want as a prosecutor is to convince the public that the investigation has been done by the book, in accordance with the rule of law, and that the tribunal is a reliable and also following the law, McCarthy said. So, any time you have somebody violating the law in a very blatant way, even if that person were more articulate and seemed to have, you know, both feet on the ground and be more serious, grounded person than the jury foreman, it would still be very bad for the prosecution and really for the court and the court's reputation for integrity, he continued. It would be bad to have somebody in such a big case flouting the rules this way. So that's the big problem for them. The fact that she also happens to be an oddball is, you know, that's more of a gift for Trump. Because the more you watch these clips, the more you kind of roll your eyes at the whole enterprise down there. Alright, so this has been an interesting article. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments. Personally, I'm not sure what to think, but be sure to subscribe while you're at it, because it really helps me out. Well, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.